Welcome guys to my channel. Today what I'm talking about is the Canadian Championship and the attendances and how the attendances won't be as great uh, this year and it hasn't been as great for the past few years. First of all, please like and subscribe to this channel uh, if you want to hear more Canadian soccer content from me. If you enjoy this video, of course, you can do that at the end of the video. Now, let's get on to the problem, uh, what I'm talking about. So the interest has gone down uh, for the Canadian Championship over the past few years. And as a result, there's been a declining attendance. Particularly, uh, Toronto FC has had a lowered interest from their fans. Uh, I'm a Toronto FC fan myself, and there's been a lowered interest for the Canadian Championship from their fans. Uh, as a result, we saw in leg two of the final of the Canadian Championship last year where Toronto FC played Vancouver Whitecaps, there was only about an attendance of 14,000 when usually the average Canadian Championship game for Toronto FC gets around like 22, 23,000. You know, that's pretty low if we put that in terms of their MLS numbers, but they only got 14,000 people in leg two of the final of the Canadian Championship in which Toronto FC uh, won the Canadian Championship that game. That didn't look good, especially being that they had to close off one of their stands so that the stadium atmosphere would be more intimate for the fans and it would look uh, more appealing on TV being that not all the seats are empty and it doesn't necessarily look, I don't mean to take shots, but it doesn't necessarily look if you watch MLS like Chicago Flyer playing at Toyota Field. Anyway, this, uh, this Canadian Championship MLS teams haven't played yet, uh, but in round one, uh, the Canadian Premier League teams played. There was four Canadian Premier League teams. Pacific FC got knocked out by Cavalry FC, and then there was HFX Wanderers, uh, Cavalry FC, and York 9 FC who advanced. Um, and there was two pro semi-professional teams in Von Ozuri and Blanvie, but uh, they ended up losing as well. So there was three Canadian Premier League teams that advanced to round two, and that was York 9 FC, HFX Wanderers, and Cavalry FC. Then there was three teams for round two, which is currently being played out. Leg one was uh, this past week, and then uh, leg two will be this coming week, uh, where the six Canadian Premier League teams that are in round two, which there's only Canadian Premier League teams, it seems like this, well, it, there are only Canadian Premier League teams this year in round two. Um, it just happens to be like that. The attendances haven't been the greatest. Uh, we saw with Forge FC, they got an okay attendance, um, but Cavalry FC doesn't look like they'll get that great attendance for leg two, uh, which is coming up. And then HFX Wanderers, who normally gets close to selling out their stadium, didn't get a good attendance. And then York 9 FC looked like their stadium maybe had under a thousand people there. <laughs> like it looked pretty bad. So I'll get on to the first aspect to this problem why there's such low attendance. The problem is the whole season's ticket problem. So basically all the teams that had to start in round one for Canadian Premier League teams, I believe uh, the teams included in the season ticket packages uh, for fans who bought season tickets, uh, the first round Canadian Premier League game at their stadium. So then fans came to the game uh, partly because they had it included in their season tickets so they were more inclined to come to the game. I believe those teams that advanced to round two they just said nope yeah, your season ticket don't they don't include the round two games so you have to pay an additional uh, whatever amount you want to spend on a ticket uh, to get into this game. So as a result, fans of York 9 FC, HFX Wanderers, and Cavalry FC uh, aren't as inclined to go and buy tickets, while fans of Forge FC, Valor FC, and FC Edmonton, the three teams that had buys to round two, um, they were more inclined to come to the game as they included the round two, their teams included the round two uh, tickets for the game. Uh, in their season ticket packages as it was their first game in the Canadian Championship. Uh, so if you're getting what I'm saying, since there was uh, season ticket offers uh, to the teams that had buys, then it made it so that more fans were inclined to come to the games as they didn't have to spend extra money to go to a round two game. So it's kind of, this is the biggest point, it's kind of done by the teams like Cavalry FC, HFX Wanderers, 
and uh, York 9 FC to not include this in the season's ticket packages uh, because as a result, uh, less fans came to their games. In fact, York 9 FC, not really, <laughs> barely any people came to their game. Number two, as I mentioned, there's less interest, particularly for MLS teams, this won't be as good, but maybe this will be reinvigorated being that the new, being that the competition has been reshaped this season, uh, but that's certainly not good uh, for teams like Toronto FC, who are getting, their fans have been getting more interested in the CONCACAF Champions League and MLS, because they've seen that being that we've won the Canadian Championship so many times, like we're able to win that. We've seen it multiple times, uh, but being that we won MLS Cup, they see that MLS is really the competition that we want to be winning and that we can attain. In previous years, fans would come to the Canadian Championship games because they saw MLS as more unattainable, so they're figuring, well, I'll go to this game because this is the only competition that Toronto FC can win. Uh, when 14,000 people come to the game in 2018 to the Canadian Championship, they're kind of like, okay, well, our team sucks. Uh, they're not playing well and really our goal is to watch this team win another MLS Cup or win the CONCACAF Champions League uh, hopefully in 2019 which of course didn't happen and we went out uh, pretty badly uh, but when we're seeing like Toronto FC making it to the 2018 uh, CONCACAF Champions League final and winning the 2017 MLS Cup the interests are invested elsewhere other than the Canadian Championship. So that's a big aspect to it. Uh, so number three is kind of a cliche uh, complaint from fans of soccer, from many fans of anything uh, who have to go and buy tickets. It's the ticket prices. Uh, the ticket prices are normally lower for Canadian Championship games, but if you're getting almost no game, if you're getting almost no players to uh, Canadian Championship games like York 9 FC even though I saw the lowest ticket price that wasn't resale for York 9 FC at that Canadian Championship game last week uh, was $15 which is very low for a professional soccer game uh, I assume that York 9 FC made a loss on this game being that there's so many tickets that weren't sold you might as well lower it a bit more just so that you can attract more fans to the game and hopefully bring new fans to the team as people say look the ticket prices are very low so you can go and watch the game not saying you have to lower it for the canadian premier league but maybe you might want to consider that to at least bring a not embarrassing amount of fans to the game and then number four is the time of the match uh, the time of the match is a big thing as well but you can't really change this of course weekdays are not going to bring as many fans especially on tuesdays uh, wednesdays are not quite as bad uh, but they're still not the greatest. We can't really change that, but that is a fact of life with this, and it does bring uh, less fans to the games. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you did enjoy the video and you did appreciate the points that I made, please like this video, and uh, please consider subscribing if you want to hear more content about Canadian soccer from me. Anyway, until next time, see ya.